influential women says we should remember leaders who stepped down for what they did, not for their decision to bow out. When I was with the President of the European Parliament, she gave me her take on the resignations of Nicola Sturgeon and Jacinda Ardern. I sat down with President Roberto Mazzola after she gave me a grand tour of the European Parliament. When you see President of the European Parliament, do you sort of think, eh, that's me? In, it, actually, in France, it's la présidente, so, you know, it depends on the title. It, it's, yeah, it takes a bit of getting used to. Uh, no, I just walk past it. So what are you voting on? All of this. So, big legislative, so these are very normal stuff we have every voting, but this one, European Europe Skills is a report, this general product safety regulation, legislative, Equal pay for equal work between men and women, that's the bell sounding. Big legislation, we've been waiting for it for years. So I preside the votes, which means that uh, I open the votes, some of them are by show of hands, uh, some Do of them are... you have a casting in the event of...? In the bureau, so with the board of vice presidents, yeah, yeah there is a casting. But Stop. it's rare, but it actually happens, you know, yeah. that you have an equal amount, exact equal amount. We have a service uh, in this house that, that focuses on Voting in plenary, it's sometimes very complicated, sometimes very long, um, but uh, the majorities Do you are sometimes... just bang everybody's, everybody's heads together and say, oh, for God's sake, oh, good just get on with it? Um, quite a lot, but I guess that's normal, no? Uh, you know, you'll see there are 700 uh, and uh, five members of the European Parliament. You can see where everybody's sitting, so you know... So we have a hemicycle here, which is... Uh, you know, a very nice one, cosy, uh, you can uh, really, hear, and you can hear everything, you can hear insults, comments, compliments, everything. And Good it's morning. all done by grouping, of course, of it's all political done by grouping. grouping, the exactly. left, the, left to the, the right. right. Yeah, and then, uh, so the majorities are sometimes right down the middle. Uh, we won't see it today. Where but would you put yourself? Well, I come from this political group, and I would put myself right oh, exactly in the middle oh, along the middle. wishy-washy centre. No, nothing wishy-washy about that pro-European. Wow. So this is a debate that's happening before, so we have quite a lot. It's at the moment rule of law, big thing. At the mo if you hear someone Spanish, it's, you know, it's, it's talking about, about uh, Spain. Is the parliament being tough enough in Hungary? We have been extremely um, tough. Uh, this has been uh, a parliament that has long looked for uh, rule of law. Uh, uh, conditions being met by all member states, so all countries. Uh, and we asked for that for many years. Uh, and that's thanks to this room where we look at each member state and say, on this, you need to improve. And we take credit for the fact that improvements have been made. A lot needs to be done with many countries. This is the discussion that's happening now. And on everything, we, on, 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 with every single country, we negotiate, we discuss, and we go ahead. With a young family, and a war, and a crisis of co corruption or whatever, how do you do it? I mean, that's what people are saying, either you are superwoman, or you are mad, or you have extremely, <laughs> good, both, yeah. or you have extremely good help at home. A little bit of everything. Um, first, perhaps you could ask any man, uh, or father, or any parent sitting opposite you the same question. I've always said that because, you know, I remember as a young candidate, then I was young, you know, with little boys, I had the two boys, age two and one. The single question people would ask me, oh, those poor boys, and my answer would be, are you asking my husband the same thing? <laughs> Nobody did. Nobody did. So how do we do it? It takes loads of organization, grandparents, I can say this, <laughs> uh, and a schedule that is practically inflexible even though sometimes it has to become flexible. So when you heard the Prime Minister of New Zealand and then the First Minister Scotland. of Scotland, do you admire what they've done? And as you've still got fuel in the tank, do you secretly think, what's going to happen to me when I get too empty? I think everybody should ask themselves that question. Oh. And it requires, you know, 
balance of everything and making sure that you give yourself the time that, uh, for example, I take in maybe 12 minutes of the day I have for myself to, to listen to audiobooks. I listen to political biographies. That's my, as boring as it sounds, that's what I love to, uh, to, to read. I will miss Jacinda. You know, I met her a few months ago and I thought she's one of the most amazing women I've ever met. I then thought that she could, you know, So were you disappointed? Were you a little bit inside that she had been proven to be human? You know what I was disappointed about? The reaction to her saying that. That that's what they focused on, rather than on the fact that she had twice been such a successfully elected prime minister, that she had managed a terror attack so, with so difficulty, but so skillfully, with such humanity. I wanted, and I want us to focus on her legacy rather than on what she said on the last meeting when she said, I'm out. And that's, that's what I think we should do more of when we look at politics and politicians or anyone really who says, this was my chapter, now it's the end of it. You've got, a long, you've got a long way to go. I don't know how many chapters left, but uh, you know, in politics you always you know, expect the unexpected and be ready for anything. It could be anything.